said no. No, don't even... Think about it. Who could resist that scrumptious little snifterfire? Not to mention these delicious little love dots. Uh, uh, hey, would you stop it with the... Come on, you're interrupting my meditation on a contemplation. I got big ideas. See? The Ronald Dump Towers ain't never been haunted. And I'm just the ghost of Phil the Post. <laughs> oh, I can see it now. It'll be beautiful. Finally, I get my big break. What are you doing? Fixing your big break so it don't get no worse. It's not that kind of break, you screwy screecher. I ain't got no bones. My big break in the scaring business. Yeah, to get a break, you gotta meet the right people. That's why I finagled myself tickets to the Corpse Cotillion. <laughs> the hoidiest palloy of all the ghosts with the most will be there. Oh, I love a party. Wear a gown, wear a gown. Everyone loves a gown. What do you think? Look, Poyle, you're quite a goyle, but... I'd need a scarifying, terrifying date to make the right impression on them power spookers what will be in attendance. But I can be scary. Watch. Boo? Yeah, there you have it. Just what I'm saying. You're too sweet. You don't bring enough gloom to the room and the fright of the night. Sorry, kiddo, but I'm going stag. Spook you later. Oh, he makes me so mad. Hi, Boyle. What's wrong? Dad, spooky. He's just like my great uncle Toulouse, who was always telling my aunt Tallulah they had to name all the kids George, even the girls. But if he just listened, he would have seen she was right, which she was, which I am also about this cotillion, and he'd see I got it if he just get it and take me, which he should, but he ain't. Just like Uncle Toulouse. Uh, are you saying Spooky's not taking you to the cotillion? Exactly. He says I'm not scary enough. Spooky just doesn't appreciate you. He thinks I'm just a dim dame, and it's got me all jammed up. Hey, I got an idea. That's a new one. Oh, it hurts my head. Hey, Casper, we gotta teach Spooky a lesson. You can learn me how to scare good. Uh, me? Uh, I'm the friendly ghost, remember? Yeah, but you got those really scary uncles. They must have taught you something. Please. Please. I'll take that as a yes. Nothing scarier than bad table manners. Ooh, this is one of Uncle Stinky's specialties. Onions, garlic, bad Limburger cheese, and some of this lumpy, chunky gray stuff. Which is... Oh, you don't want to know. Oh, and here's a book that explains ghost etiquette. I see. Always talk with your mouth full and chew your mouth open. Hey, I'm doing this already. Oh, she's getting scarier and I'm getting sick. Excuse me. Bad table manners, check. Come on. Now let's work on some scary faces. Oh, very homey. Gives me the creeps. Thanks. Now watch this. I got this one off Bad Saturday Morning TV. I know, it seems lame, but the show got canceled really fast. Must have scared away viewers. Here's some books on scare tactics, including I was just a plain old villain for the whole movie, and now I turn into a fire-breathing dragon for no apparent reason. It's an old bit, but people still fall for it. Tomorrow we'll try out your scares with my uncles. Imagine that! Me, auditioning for the ghostly trio! It's gonna be a great day! Or the longest day of my afterlife. I want to thank you all for coming. What are you talking? It's lunchtime! We're here for the food, Bulby boy! Yeah! yeah. Move over, Fatso. No, you're also here to see the scariest new ghost in the block. Hey, pale puss, we're the scariest ghosts on any block. You got it? Oh, yeah, 
Well, you better be prepared to be scared. Because you're about to meet that slight sprite of fright. Ah. The fearful, eerie, no longer a dearie, Ms. Poyle! Poyle? That busy little dame? <laughs> <laughs> Hello! I would like to thank you for this opportunity. <laughs> That's a good one. You can say that again. <laughs> I'll show them. <laughs> what the he huh? Come here, you. Ah! <laughs> that was even better than my bird. All for fun and fun for all. Time to spook this little doll. Yes, gross. We've been slimed. You. <laughs> hey, what do you take us for? Yeah. yeah! Um, a spooka copter? <laughs> Never laugh at a woman. Yikes! How am I doing? I think you're ready for the big time. So handsome. <laughs> okay, Spookster, give it your best shot. Besides that, it was a great play. Hey, where's the punch bowl? I, uh, I believe it was uh, here a minute ago. Never tell a lie. I had nothing to do with it. I am not a crook. Hey, hey, you big shot guys. <laughs> Watch my rolling triple terror. I've seen scarier things on the floor of the Senate. Yes, like a, a, a filibuster. <laughs> this ain't waking out the way I expected at all. <laughs> So as I was saying... Yeah, all right, man. What's the matter? I didn't do it good? You did it great. They're just trying to act cool. All right, man, but let me... Ladies and gentlemen, for her next selection, what looks like your ordinary evildoer becomes... <laughs> Wowza! That's my kind of dame. Hey, what's the matter with you people? That was a great scare! The climax of many major motion pictures! Spooky? Oh, look at that! The cutest nose in the room! An itsy bitsy teeny weeny little black olive floating on a plate of pizza dough! How could you not love such a little sweetums? Just the cutest little old ghosty wussy in the whole wide world! <laughs> Did my little Snookums Woody Putty Pie Mrs. Widow Huggly Wuggly? <laughs> That's my Goyle Poyle. I gotta tell you something, honey. That was the scariest thing I've ever seen. Really. Hi. Shifty Bazaar, I'd like to be your agent. I think I can get you to gig Haunting Dump Towers. I mean that. Well, I guess you appreciate Poyle now. <laughs> what are you talking? Poyle was always the dame of my dreams. You know, I was just afraid things would get too scary around here. And? And what? And? And? Oh, you're not gonna make me say it. And! I was wrong. Poyle was too good to say like some... Harvey, how do I get a girl to like me? First, you've got to accept the you who you are. Who? 
You. Only if you're who you are will you be who you want to be. The who that is me. Yes. And you're already who you want to be because you are who you are. But you're having trouble expressing that. <sighs> I could see why. Don't hide from your feelings. Your feelings are a part of you. The you that I am. No, the other you. Are you comfortable with that? <laughs> One of me is, I think. <gasps> you mean there are places in Whipstaff even you haven't seen? A ghost can only do so much in a hundred years. Besides, I've already seen all the cool stuff. Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Hey, look at this. <laughs> it's called a coat rack. Very rare and mysterious. Hmm. <gasps> <laughs> Secret doors count as cool. Beginner's luck. It's locked. Allow me. Wow. It's like a hidden museum. Look at that. He is so... Mysterious. So... Dignified. So... Unbelievably distinguished. Whatever. Omar. Ugh, what a cool name. I gotta hang this in my room. Right between my Brad Pitt and Crispin Glover posters. Girls mystify me. Whew. Good thing I couldn't feel that. It's okay. Got three more. <sighs> Cuckoo! Cuckoo! Ah! I've only got two hours to get it together for the friendship-friendly hayride and weenie roast. Is this town dead or what? Yeah. Oh man, the trio is back, and I haven't even started cooking yet. No, oh, don't those guys ever eat takeout? Don't they stop, Bulbhead? Hey, look, we got takeout. Yeah, and lots of beans. It's, it's pinata, pinata time. time. <laughs> Uh, let's, uh, cut away, shall we? Huh? Too retro Annie Hall. Way too Bella Abzug. Just right. Oh, hardly. <gasps> Gosh! Actually, oil painting, not a gouache. Uh-huh. It looks like you are on your way to a preteen evening engagement. Yeah. How nice. Social gatherings are so very important for a young lady's development. Is it, may I ask, a cotillion or a coming out? It's a weenie roast. Oh, well, in that case, I suppose what you're wearing will be just fine for a weenie roast. What do you know about fashion, anyway? Well, I only designed Marie Antoinette's color, Joan of Arc's flame retardant dress, and General Custer's bulletproof vest. Nice resume. <laughs> Don't listen to Omar. By all means, go that way. I was only trying to help. I thought you wanted to be popular. Hey, wait a second. I didn't say I didn't... Oh? Oh, now you want Omar's help, do you? Here! That guy could make Cindy Crawford, Kate Moss, and Kathy Ireland feel insecure about their looks. I gotta find some button-up shoes, a big bowl, and a silver sequin pith helmet, now! What a cute little train set you have. Who are you? Oh, I'm only Omar. <laughs> yes, that is a cute train set. I mean, for a little boy. What do you mean, little boy? Oh, nothing. It just seems to me that by now you would be ready for something more, shall we say, mature. I like my train set. Yes, of course you do. 
You know, when I was only four, I designed the Palace of Versailles. I designed a number of cathedrals as well, but <laughs> that's just me. Some people just become men a lot faster. Some never do. I like my train set. Yes, <laughs> oh, yes, of course. It does go around and around in that circle very nicely, doesn't it? You two talk. I'll be in the backyard building a cathedral. A big one. Boo. Well, time for a little therapy, Doctor. <clears throat> uh, hmm. I sense that you feel framed in. Why don't you really try to share? Shall I, uh, get with the program? Let's try and get in touch with that inner portrait. Or oh, we could take a trip down denial. You're entitled to your self-esteem, but I sense your critical inner voice is dysfunctional. Are your enablers in non-recovery? That's not an attitude of gratitude! Oh, get off the pity pot! You're being toxic! How codependent! Crisis! Crunch! What you resist persists! Oh, go with that feeling! Uh, uh... I need counseling. Hey, what's with the doc? I was only helping. Hmm. Looks like we got some company here, boys. Looks like you really gave Doc the treatment. Looks like Burt Reynolds without his toupee. Ooh. Any poltergeisted painting who can spook fleshies like that should be hanging with us. And I know who should do the hanging. It's called a running gag, kids. Good job. Bye-bye! <laughs> what a word, Bob. Bye-bye, Bobhead! <laughs> well, I'm flattered that you consider me worthy of your company. That means so much, coming from three grown ghosts who pick on a little boy ghost for fun. Yeah, hey, that kid is 115. And a half. Strange that such an energetic trio isn't out somewhere scaring. You do know how to scare, don't you? Yeah. You mean like this? <laughs> I'm sorry, perhaps you didn't hear me. I said scare. Take this, Whistler's windbag. <laughs> Say something. Get a load of the foul stench of fear! <laughs> oh, I've smelled worse potpourri. Don't you realize who you're talking to? There's no one scarier than myself! Just look! I'm the one who made Yul Brynner's hair stand on end, scared the pants off Levi Strauss, I spooked the Vikings back to Norway. Why do you think they didn't conquer America? You know, boys, this guy's annoying me. And this ethereal plane's not big enough for the four of us. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, you're looking a little overweight. Yeah, I think you need to be... Thinner! Pink thinner, that is. <laughs> no, no, not that! Anything but that! Ah! Hey! That Van Ghost is off the wall! After his framed frame, boys! <laughs> help! Help! Oh, no! Help! Help me! Oh, help me! Oh, please! You can hide, but you're gonna be runny! <sighs> that is so stupid, you hurt my head! <laughs> oh, no! Get away! Get away! 
I'm nothing without my image. <laughs> Looking for this? Give it back! What? I, I, I do not. Oh, modern art. <laughs> Looks like he's updated his image. 